Louvet and illegally demolished property worth over 200 billion naira and rendered over 100 families homeless. In fortress to that discussion with the gentlemen of the press, we are here today to provide documents to you so that in the course of your work, in the course of your uh, uh, journalism, investigative journalism, you will find out that all we said concerning the illegal demolition by the Honorable Minister and his ulterior motive to grab the land at Sabon Lube is true. We have here correspondence between the directors in urban and regional planning, a department in the FCDA, on a search conducted by my client, indicating that the land belongs to my client. This is the correspondence that the land has been charted, and after the chart, the urban and regional planning found that the land belongs to my client. And this document was signed by one K. Kadijat, Zona Coordinator for Director Urban and Regional Planning, that the Honorable Minister went and demolished. And from Intelligence, the former director of urban and regional planning in the person of Yahaya Abubakar was even approached to go against the interests of my client. He declined to go against the interests of my client. He said, no, that there is a chart on that land by the urban and regional planning. And after that chart, they found out when they, when I mean they, that is the, the Department of Urban and Regional Planning, a department in the FCTA, that the land belongs to our client. And the question is, if there is a correspondence, if there is a such report from the department in the FCTA that the land belongs to my client, why will the Honorable Minister go into the place and demolish it? Why will the Honorable Minister, apart from the demolition of that place, why will the Honorable Minister go and allocate the place to Radcom Nandira Limited? And from our search in the, in the uh, Corporate Affairs Commission, we discovered, sadly enough, that all the directors in Radcom Nigeria Limited are all foreigners. There is no single Nigerian in the directorship of Radcom Nigeria Limited. And our question is, why will the Honorable Minister leave the Nigerians and start to favor foreigners when Nigerians have already invested billions of naira in that place? When Nigerians are already residents in that place? Payments were made. We came with receipts of payments made to ages in respect of Simon Lube. The documents are here. We now want to find out from the minister why did he not conduct or do due diligence before calling genuine owners of that place land grabbers. The honorable minister is the land grabber. Now, what will shock you from intelligence is that the same property which was allotted to Radcom Nigeria Limited, they have now placed it on sale for 30 billion naira. And one of my clients had been approached to buy the same property at 30 billion naira. As we speak today, that property is now up for sale. If any of you have 30 billion naira, you can acquire that salon lube that is in this put for 30 billion naira. As we speak today, my client has bargained for 10 billion naira and they said he can't go for 10 billion naira. It is at 30 billion naira. So why would the honorable minister, because of making 30 billion naira, go and demolish? A place that had been 
my client had invested over 200 billion naira in, 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 in developing the area just for 30 billion naira. Gentlemen of the press, why we are here is that you can investigate this, our allegation. You can investigate it. That the Honorable Minister went and demolished that place because of his selfish interest. 30 billion naira is what that place is going for now. If you have 30 billion naira, you go and acquire it. But we are telling Radcom that they cannot sell that place. Because that place is now subjudice. It's now a subject of litigation. They can go in that place and sell it. And whoever that is buying from that com of that property is wasting his money. Because anything done within the tendency of a matter, that thing goes to naught. And we are calling on Nigerians, if they bring that property to you to, to buy, don't buy. Because they are looking for who to put into trouble. That is their intention. Looking for who to put into trouble in that land. That land is not for sale. That land is a subject of litigation in court as we speak today. And we are saying we have documents, we have payments made in respect of that land. The documents are here. We will make them available to the gentlemen of the press. <coughs> Finally, why? I want the gentlemen of the press to also find out why within the short period of weekends, uh, 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 being a minister in the, in, in the FCT, four directors in the land department have resigned. <coughs> or he has changed four directors since he came in. Because if you do not want to play or, or, or do his bidding, he will remove you. Four directors in land department. All within a space of one year. Changed. Because of weakness, selfish interest. And we are calling up President Bona Tinibu to immediately remove Nelson Wiki. He's, he's causing trouble in FCT. He's causing trouble. He's killing people in that seven room. People have died. People are suffering. People rendered homeless because of one man's wickedness. We are calling on Mr. President to immediately remove the, to, 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 to remove. Next a wicked. He's a wicked man. His wickedness no, knows no bounds. Our clients do not want to get chaos in the FCT. Because if they want, they would have visited wicked from going into that place. But we advise them, don't do it. Let us see and know the outcome of the suit we have in court. Because we have explicit confidence that the judiciary will do the needful in this matter. And as I speak to you, we have the instruction of some of the residents and subscribers of the same place to write to the <coughs> IGP director of the SN because they are planning for a very massive protest to the Villa and to the National Assembly to go and ventilate their grievances against the wickedness of Nelson Wiki. Because he is doing it because of his selfish interest, not because that that is that place is not legally allotted to my client. Yeah, and we believe that now that this information is within you, that you are going to do needful and make sure that this news go to the nooks and crannies of this country. Thank you very much. There is no hearing uh, 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 date in the matter. But definitely, we will communicate to you so that this matter is not a matter that will be swept under the carpet. So that the press will follow it from the beginning of trial to the end of trial. Sorry, I don't know what the matter fight. Bata, 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 bata. Bata, box.